welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a general reading, but before we even get into it, if you want to see the extended version of this reading, just check out the description. Right up under that, I will have my link tree link so that you guys can follow me on any social media. I will be going live on Instagram on the 28th and we're going to be doing a chit chat on the Mercury retrograde that's going to be happening in Capricorn literally at the beginning of 2022. Like I believe that Mercury goes into Capricorn December or the shadow period, I should say, excuse me, December 29th. So I want to talk about it tomorrow so that we can kind of get the gist of what's going to happen. So Join me for that astrology chat. I will be doing free readings as well during that live. So please don't message me and ask me if I'm giving away free readings. Just show up for the live at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will post the flyer on my Instagram. So follow me if you want to join in and get a reading as well for free. All right. Um, but let's go ahead and get straight into it. So Libras, I was hearing a couple of things when I was meditating on your energy. So the first thing that came up um, is something's not done yet. Okay, something here is not done yet. This could be a situation, a scenario that you think is wrapped up. You, you think that you've came to a conclusion or it's like just done. That's not the case at all. Okay, Spirit is saying something's not done here. All right. Um, for a lot of you, this feels like a relationship <laughs> where you thought that you were going to kind of walk away from something. It's like something pulls you back or this person kind of pulls you back in or where you thought somebody else was kind of done with a relationship. It's like they kind of come crawling back. So something's definitely not done here. Um, that's a good thing for some of you. Some of you wanted to hear that. For others of you, it's like, oh, not again. But it just feels like this cycle of like this cat and mouse situation or overall there being issues that just are not being resolved. And it's like a lot of bypassing that may be taking place. Now, um, I get a sense also that a lot of you are trying to really distance yourself from things that more so hold you captive in a negative way. This could be bad eating habits. This could be smoking problems. This could be a negative self-talk. This could be procrastination. It really seems like very specific for everyone, of course, but it's like you have a certain kryptonite that you guys are really trying to beat or bypass before 2022 and you could be realizing that it's not going to just be a easy thing you're you're having to rethink um your your plans and your routine and how you've been going about things and again that feels like mercury and capricorn mercury retrograde and capricorn all day um and also with all the other transits that are happening in capricorn it's a lot going on um but yeah i also get this energy of like Spending habits kind of coming to the forefront. This is like having to cut back majorly. Okay, you may have really overdone it for Christmas. If you don't really celebrate Christmas, but then you have family members that celebrate Christmas, you may have, you know, had to kind of dip into your finances a bit or something or money may have just been shoveled out on things <laughs> recently and it's like having to kind of realign your finances and also just again having to look at things that are more so negative that you subscribe to and that's been keeping you from your full potential so those are some of the things that i'm feeling for you let's go ahead and flip the camera so we can get even more in depth and see what energy comes your way libras let's go ahead and get straight into your reading so what's the overlying energy for my Libras? Okay. <clears throat> so we have the death card in reverse, and this is the end is the end is here. That's what it reads, but it's in reverse. So I think I kind of said in the beginning of your reading how there's like this energy of something that's unfinished, something that's not done yet. Um, this could be an argument that you thought was done with your person. They bring it back up or they're not over it where you thought a cycle in your relationship was done, like a cheating cycle or um, a lack of being able to communicate with each other. It's like some sort of thing is not done yet. It's not completed quite yet. 
Um, also, for a lot of you, it's like you're starting to realize where like changes have to be made, but like you slightly feel like they can't be yet. So like, okay, you could be a new mom, right? You may have just recently had a child and you may want to make more money, but you may not be in a position to literally make more money like how you want to because of the fact that you have a new child and you have responsibilities there. So it's like, um... You're unable to make the changes you want to make. That was just one example. But let's keep going. I have appreciation here. So you may have a partner who really shows you that they literally appreciate you during this time frame. They could be giving you a really nice gift for Christmas if that's what you celebrate. Um, they could be doing something really nice for you, like a really nice gesture. Uh, they could be... Um, like showing more attention or let me not say attention, giving you more attention, being more supportive. There could be this energy of this person also giving words of affirmations, like being more attentive and aware of like you changing your hair or you doing this, you doing that. Okay. You could also be... At like a job or like you get some sort of award or something especially if you've been really doing your thing i do see that as well but we have the temple path so first thing i'm hearing is real estate first thing i'm hearing is new home some of you guys may be on the brink of like moving soon you may be getting approved for a home really soon or that's like a wish of yours that's like a huge focus um and this may be like your dream home you may be like working really, really hard right now in order for you to secure this home or put yourself in a position to uh, like outbid other people who may be trying to get the home essentially. Okay, if you're also looking for like a new place to stay as far as like an apartment, you may be actually finding the place that feels like, okay, this could be home. This could be where I feel the most comfortable. I also have the angel of strength. So for a lot of you, this is a time frame in which you're trying to be focused. As focused as possible, you're realizing that you may have been not really given this year your all the way that you would have liked to, which is fine. Every year is not going to be like a, okay, I'm just like this trailblazer uh, type of thing. Some years are more so about learning about self, taking a break, resting your energy, and getting geared up for the next one. So that's what I'm seeing. Um, a lot of you, you're ready to give 2022 your all, and it's a matter of needing to make sure that you're keeping that determination and that focus here, okay? So we have Restful Solitude Way, which is the Four of Swords. Better Things Ahead, which is the Six of Swords, okay? We have Passion and Desire Gardens, which is the Ace of Wands, and then we have the Hangman. So with this coming up, yeah, for a lot of you, Spirit is saying, um, ready, set, go. All right, there's no need for you to beat yourself up for what you feel like you procrastinated on, uh, what you feel like you didn't accomplish this year, because 2022 looks like it's really going to be a year for you to pick up in momentum and energy. Um, another thing I'm seeing, while you guys may not be speaking to someone, I think that's what was trying to come up here. Uh, you will speak to this person very, very soon. I do see a resolve that's happening. It looks like breakup to makeup energy that's coming through. It's just like right now, there is a level of like anger or stubbornness or even defensiveness that may be keeping you guys from talking a lot sooner. Um, another thing I see, I see movement within your career. A lot of you, like I said, you could be like looking for a new job or you could be having this new approach to a business that you may have been feeling like you weren't really getting enough sales from. You may have been more so taking the back burner on, but you could be like trying to maybe implement content into your business, like being a YouTuber, or, you know, making content on Instagram. It's like you're switching up your strategy, you're switching up your energy, and that's how you switch up results, especially if you've been feeling like there's been delays in your own energy or in money, love, all those things. So I want to go ahead and finish this on the other side. If you want to see the rest, 
Check out the information below and I will see you over there.